Hello, today we'll be working on graphing with the slope-intercept equations. So here's our general formula, y equals mx plus b, where your m is going to be your slope or your rise over run, and your b is going to be your y-intercept. Okay, so we have an equation, y equals 2x plus 2. So again, our slope m is going to be 2, which we can rewrite as 2 over 1. Now 2 divided by 1 is 2, so 2 is equal to 2 over 1. So we have our rise, which is 2, and our run, which is 1. Then our intercept is going to be 2 as well. So our point for the y-intercept, x will be 0, y will be so we want to go to that y-intercept point to start, so we find 0, 2 on the graph, and then we're going to move up 2 to the right 1, because both the 2 and the 1 are positive values. Now, our graph counts um, each interval by 2 blocks, so remember that you have to go up 2 and to the right 1, which leads us here. Because remember, we, we started at our 2, and then we moved 1, 2, and then over 1. So that's where we ended. You could also make both of those negative. Remember, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So we could go down 2 and to the left 1 as well. So again, we've started at the 2, we've moved down 2, and to the left 1. So we have our three points, one, two, three. And what we need to do is we need to make a line attaching those. So we're going to draw a line that goes through those points, and that will be our linear graph for y equals 2x plus 2. We'll do another example. So again, we want to remember that that m is our slope, and the b is our y-intercept. Now for this equation, our slope is going to be negative 1 fourth, which means our rise is negative 1, and our run is 4, or our rise is 1, and our run is negative 4. Then our b, or our y-intercept, will be negative 3 because we have plus b in the normal equation. And when you subtract 3, you're actually adding a negative 3. So that point is going to be 0, negative 3. So we want to find that on our graph. So we go to 0, negative 3, and then we're going to move according to the slope, which at first we're going to go down 1 to the right 4, and then we'll go up 1 to the left 4. So if we go down 1, we move from here, we go down 1 to the right 1, 2, 3, 4, so that is going to be our point. Then we're going to again go down 1 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. That will be our next point. <coughs> then we can go in the opposite direction where we are going up 1 and to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that will be our point. And we can continue this along the grid. And here we have it. So we can erase those other points that aren't necessary so that we are just left with our points for the linear graph. And then we can make a line through the points so that we have our linear equation graphed on the xy-axis. Okay, and that is how you graph a slope-intercept equation. So I'd like you to try this one on your own, y equals negative 3x plus 1. 
<clears throat> remember that you have to first find that slope and then the y-intercept in that equation. And then starting at the y-intercept, move according to your slope. And this is the x-axis, and that is the y-axis. And remember to label what you're counting by on your axes, if it's one or two or however you decide to do it. Good luck.